Hello again, future engineer. Welcome to Equilibrium and Support Your Actions Part 3. In this video, we will be solving a 3D FAR system in equilibrium. Are you ready? Hasten up and let's get this started. A structure in three dimensions, that is, in a space, must satisfy the following six requirements to remain in equilibrium when acted upon by external forces. First, sum of all forces along x-axis is equal to zero. Second, sum of all forces along y-axis is equal to zero. Third, sum of all forces along z-axis is equal to zero. Fourth, sum of all moments along x-axis is equal to zero. Sum of all moments along y-axis is equal to zero. Sum of all moments along z-axis is equal to zero. Let's try to solve an equilibrium of concurrent space force system problem. Given a three-dimensional axis, the x, y, and z axis, a framework shown in the figure is composed of three members AB, AC, and AD, whose lower ends lie on the same horizontal plane. At A, a force of 4,450 kN acts in a direction parallel to the x-axis. Neglecting the weights of the members determine the forces in AB, AC, and AD. Let us specify the free body diagram of the structure. At point B, we have three components BX, BY, and BZ. Point C, we have also CX, CY, and CZ. Also, at point D, we have DX, DY, and DZ. It is also very important that we have to take note the coordinates of each point a member passes through. Solving for the distance of the members In solving for a three-dimensional structure, we must first find the distance of each member. So we use the formula Values were taken from the coordinates of points A and B. 1 and 2 is the x coordinates a b 1 and 2 1.8 minus 0 is 1.8 and 0 while 0 and 0 this value is also the distance component of member a b likewise for d a c we have and DAD we have to continue we have to consider the front view or the XY plane summing up moments at DZ that is summation of MDZ is equals to zero assuming clockwise direction of moment is positive so we have 4,450 times 1.8 minus the BY times 2. BY is definitely equivalent to 4,005 kN. Moving on, using the formula, get the value of member AB. AB is the member A and B. 
whereas the distance AB was the value that we solved earlier, BY is the Y component at point B, and 1.8 is the Y distance component of DAB. It can be found by the absolute value of Y coordinate of B subtracted to Y coordinate of A. The same as the BX. The one value is the X distance coordinate of the AB. That is the absolute value of X coordinate of B subtracted to X coordinate of A. Therefore, AB is equal to 4581.275 kilonewton. Then, we consider the left side view of the structure. We now sum up moments at point D. Again, assuming clockwise direction of moment to be positive. So, we have negative BY times 1.5 minus cy times 2.5 is equals to 0. We have a value of vy which is equal to 4005 and so we can get the value of cy. The negative sign doesn't mean you are wrong but your assumption of the direction of your component. Using the following formula, get the value of member AC. AC is equal to negative 3055.815 kilonewton. CX is to negative 1335 kilonewton. And CZ is negative 1335 kilonewton. Summing up moments at C, we get dy times 2.5 and by times 1. dy times 2.5 plus 4005 times 1 equals to 0. We get dy equals to negative 1602 kN. Again, your assumption for the component dy is wrong. Using the following formula, get the value of member AD. Substitute the value that we got. We have AD is equal to negative 2267.72 kilonewton. Therefore, AB is equal to 4581.275 kilonewton tension and AC is also 3055.815 kilonewton compression AD is the 2267.72 kilonewton compression remember the question I raised on our equilibrium and support reactions part 1 now is the time to share your thoughts whether the structure shown is in equilibrium comment your answer in the comment box below And that concludes our discussions for equilibrium and support reactions.